Poised on the edge of the Arctic Circle, the small island nation of Iceland ranks as one of the most environmentally friendly countries in the world. Most of its power comes from renewable hydroelectric and geothermal sources. However, Iceland still faces environmental challenges. The single most important environmental issue that Iceland has faced for many centuries is soil erosion and lack of vegetation caused by human activity. When it was settled in the 9th century, Iceland was heavily forested. The country was deforested in a very short period of time. And since we're in a volcanic country, most of our soils blew away. So we've lost 96 or 7 percent of our forest cover and about half of our soils and vegetation. Lions clubs throughout Iceland have been reversing that trend. In Vik, a small town along the southern coast of Iceland, 92-year-old lion Thordor Thomason remembers how it was. All around there, up there in the hill, it was a wound, red, black wound, no grass, and the lions did save it. More than 40 years ago, fellow club member Einar Thorstensen and his Lions Club began scattering grass seed and fertilizer along the coastline, returning for a number of years until 40 kilometers of grass was firmly established. If I didn't, all of the soil would just blow away. Even mountainous areas do not deter these lions. Scaling the side of Reynisfjall Mountain, they drop down the seed and fertilizer. The project has been so successful that others are taking up the cause. Farmers all around the country have started doing what we are doing, taking care of their areas in this way. And it all started here. For decades, the Icelandic government has taken steps to reforest the country. And tree planting has become another focus for lions. Many lions clubs are planting trees all over Iceland. This is a project that we started on uh, 25 years ago. The Lions Movement is a perfect instrument for involving the public in environmental issues. We have been working here for 43 years. In 1980, we were given this area by our community. But planting on Iceland's windswept, barren land was not easy. It was a great challenge to plant trees where it's windy. It was just mud and rocks. It was just dead grass and soil. But lions persevered. The pine trees we plant first to make sort of lee for the other trees. And then we plant birch, which is a very hardy tree. Why are lions passionate about the environment? We are all responsible for the earth, and we should do everything we can to make it even better for our children and grandchildren. And lions are always taking on new projects. A new women's lions club is working to clean up the coastline. Lions need to be in environmental projects because it makes us work together, spend our time outside together, yeah. join all the families together, and uh, yeah, having good fun. Yeah. Yeah. And older projects are being passed along to the next generation. This is my grandfather. I've been with him in this kind of work since I was, what, seven, very, eight years old. Very good friends. Very good friends. I think that we are just an example of one country that is trying to at least limit the adverse effect of humans on our environment. Mm -hmm.